Hello everybody, Vic Shellman here. So today we'll be doing a video on a weapon that is quite different to me. Um, as you guys know, I don't normally do videos on the on bows. I mean, I think the last video I did on a, on a bow was the arsenic bite, but that has been the only one. But what I can say is that I like this bow a lot. And you guys know me, I'm not a bow extraordinaire. I know like nothing about bows, but I really, really like this bow. So as a lot of you guys already know, this is the new Raid Bow, um, a cure to redemption. I've been having a lot of fun with this. I personally think it feels amazing in the Crucible. I, okay, okay, I haven't used all the bows out there, but I might even go as far as to say that it might be one of the better bows in the game, especially with what this gun can bow, can roll with. So the roll that I got on it was no distractions and rampage. I <laughs> hope that's okay. Hella coal fletching, sure, light and aerodynamic, so that increases the, um, slightly increases the, oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing, so this slightly increases the accuracy, but decreases the stability, but that's fine, don't really care about stability too much on a bow, um, then we have flexible string and natural string, this increases the stability and accuracy, however, it lowers the handling, this on the other hand slightly lowers stability and accuracy, but it increases that draw time, and I'm all about that draw time. And you can actually draw this thing pretty fast. That's what I really like about it. Now, this is part of the precision frame. And um, those of you guys that are fa fans of the Subtle Calamity, it is also in that archetype. So it is part of the really nice... I think that might be one of the better archetypes for bows. So it is part of a really nice bow archetype. And honestly, though, this shader on it, though, makes it gold and white, man. It looks so good. And then I got a range masterwork with a freehand grip to increase accuracy from firing from the hip. Because you will have to do that sometimes. Somebody's pushing you, you may have to fire out a, um, you know, a clutch arrow, an, an emergency arrow. But yeah, so like I said earlier, I am not a bow extraordinaire. So do not expect, like, you know, <clears throat> high class, top tier gameplay with this thing. I mean, I'll do my best. I've been playing with it a little bit here and there. And I'm trying to get used to bows, definitely something I'm still not totally used to. But um, uh, also, the setup I'm going to be running with this, I've been running Bow Recluse. I don't know if I should run something different, like, um, I was going to say a shotgun, but then again, I'm not sure. So I'll be running Bow Recluse. Um, those of you guys that are much better with bows than I am, down in the comments, it'd be really appreciated if you guys know any really good bow setups. I would greatly appreciate that, because I'd like to get to, you know... You know, know what works really well with bows and maybe try to get a little bit better with this thing. But, um, yeah. So, that'd be greatly appreciated, but, uh, enough of my rambling. I'm sure you guys want to see how this thing handles. I've really been enjoying it, man. These raid weapons, they're really awesome. Oh, and those of you guys who are wondering, I got it from the first encounter from the raid. I haven't completed it yet. Right now I'm at the third, third encounter, but I think, uh, on the first day I got it from the first encounter. So, uh, if you want to get it, that's where it's at. So, uh... Enough of me rambling, let's go right into the Crucible. So, um, you guys that remember from like, a year ago, they had, um, Scorched Rumble, but it was like, a free-for-all, but with Scorch Cannons, which was really fun, I really enjoyed it, but this whole, the team mechanic is new to this, I haven't tried it out yet, but I can't wait to try it out, it looks like a lot of fun, I just, I'd highly recommend hopping in there, and also you'd realize, it's an actual game mode, and it's not in labs, I think the previous one was in labs, but yeah, just thought I'd mention that. That's that's really cool. The Fortress. Oh, man. That's alright. <laughs> that's okay. I was hoping we get a new map. I was really hoping we can get some Widow's Court. <laughs> that would have been really nice. But it's okay. I think we can make this work for a bow. Everything should be alright. <laughs> I have faith. Alright. I think the ranges on this should... Actually compliment a bow quite nicely not too far shouldn't see too many snipers to contest the bow You know because at widow's court there might be a lot of snipers to contest the go the bow play But no this uh, this should work just uh, can't engage in too far Engagements no too close my bad. I got I got it the wrong way around and I'm getting wombo. Yo Wombo combo still meta question mark that just melted me, man. I didn't see that. I did not see that coming at all. Also, I would just like to say, um, with the new, um, with the new matchmaking, I do believe the standard playlist is, um, oh, yikes, that thing melts, dude. Gotta watch out. 
I do believe um, <clears throat> the standard playlist is skill-based. Um, so, it's putting me up against a lot more uh, sweaty players recently. Because um, apparently they must have... I don't know why, but they think they need to pair me up against Super Omega freaking sweats. As you can tell by the score. But that's okay. Oh, thank you. Works. Um, but no. Oh, frick. That was clean. Um, but yeah. So I just thought I'd mention that, that I'm getting put up, and I've been getting put up against a lot of sweats recently. And I'm using a bow, not exactly using my most comfortable setup here. This guy's really weak, I'm just gonna push him. And we got team shot by the guy in the back. Nice. I've been seeing a lot of sweet businesses recently, man. Sweet business with, um, with freaking, oh nice, clean stuff. All right, we're putting in a little bit of work here. 166 with only one stack of rampage. It's actually pretty nice. Just trying to. We got him, boys. All right. Even though our kid, our we're, our team's kind of getting killed here, that's okay. Because as long as we put in work with the bow, it's all that matters. And that's gonna freaking kill us, yo, Divinity, 940, bro. Look at this guy. He's just flexing on us. He's flexed on everyone, man. Everyone. That's okay. Alright, we're putting in some work with the bow, though. I guess I'm not terrible with them. <laughs> that's my hope, at least. Oh, yeah, I don't know how that was a... Don't know how that wasn't a headshot, but that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna make do here. Yo, can we get the assist? Yo! I don't know how that was a headshot! Man, it's like some vice versa stuff there. Oh, I also forgot to mention we're using the Oath Keepers. So I can just hold this for indefinitely, which is really nice, because I can just be like, all right, Span, you know, waiting around corners, some dude pushes me, I'm like, bro, I got a, I got a fully charged bow, you stand, you don't even stand a chance, man. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I hit that. I, we hit those, bro. We don't hit those. Can someone clean them up, please? Oh, I didn't have a teammate. Well, that's a shame. I am really happy that they weakened the, uh, the supers, though, so you can actually contest them. Because <laughs> if I had a teammate, that guy would have been dead for sure. Um, oh, fudge. Yeah, alright, I'll take that. I'll take the assist. I'm cool with that. Also, I'm sorry if I sound like a little bit tired in my my tone of voice. I am a little bit tired today. Didn't quite get enough sleep as I should have last night, but that's fine. Oh, alright, 101 to the head there. Let's see if we can get the cleanup. I don't think he's going to peek. He's probably going to wait out until he's full. That's a golden gun. And we lived somehow. I don't, I really don't know how. All right, we got team shot. I, I knew that was going to happen when I saw those dudes there, but that's okay. That's all right. I wouldn't quite say that was a waste. I don't think that was a terrible time to pop it because there were like four dudes there. So I don't, I don't regret it. It's okay. All right. Our team's not doing too hot, but I am putting in some work with this bow. So that's good. Man, don't you don't you just love it when you jinx yourselves? You know, I'm just like, yeah, hey, man, I'm putting in work with my bow, and then I just totally choke the shot. That's okay, though. You see how fast that charged? I barely pulled that back, and it did full damage. It's this bow's ridiculous, man. Like, I'm not even good with bows, and I'm putting in work with these. Some you guys, you guys saw that, right? I'm not going crazy here. I did hit that, right? And... My teammate was standing right there and didn't help me out. Or was he an enemy? I, I don't know. Hope you guys saw that. I, I'm like, bro, how did that not do any damage? Oh, what a stupid push, man. I don't want to point fingers because I stu I push stupidly all the time, but it's all good. It's all good. Happens to the best of us. All right, let's see. Let's try pushing around the edge here, around this cave. Nope, not happening. Oh my gosh! It's got me oh, I got the assist. Nice! Thanks, bro. Wasn't for nothing. Also, Bungie's spawns have just been A plus recently, man. Oh, I missed the second one. Can we get the assist? Nah, it didn't give it to us. But that's okay. Dude, I would just like to say, like, last game, I think it was last game. It was either last game or the game before that. Um, it spawned me up. And I spawned right on top of the Spectre Blade and immediately died. And I'm just like, wow. Bravo, Bungie. I guess that's one thing that they haven't quite gotten 100% down is 
their spawns, but that's okay. I love Shadow Keep. I love what they've been doing with this game, and it's been a lot of fun. And we just melted this dude. Nice. And we are gonna get pinched hard, hardcore getting pinched right there. My chances of survival were approximately 99.67%, so I was not gonna make it out of there. All right. Let us see here. Bam! Bam! Two to the head on the divinity guy. You like to see it. Let's go. All right, let's see. Push her on the edge here. Oh, didn't even see him. Did not even see him. Can we get the assist? Eh, teammate? Eh, yeah. Come on. All right. Okay. I, I, that's definitely way too long to get the assist, but it's something. Oh, you see the crit spot he put on? That little blue bubble orb thing. I want that exotic so bad, man. I want to beat the raid. It's such a cool exotic. Yo, no you don't! I will die trying to get that kill. Alright, we got destroyed. But at least we're at the top of the leaderboard, right? At least we put in some work. I don't think I completely embarrassed myself with a bow. That was a pretty good team, as you can tell. Skill-based matchmaking has not been on my side. But, you know, okay, I'll take it. I will take it. By no means crazy A plus gameplay, but um, all right, only one who went positive. Now nah, I'm just joking. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be that guy. We tried, we tried. Sadly, did not succeed, but it's a okay. We did, we did what we could. Anyway, all right, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. I'm cool with that. But yeah, there you guys have it. The cured making please. <laughs> I absolutely love this thing. I think it's a ton of fun. I'm not even good with bows, and I mean, I've been trying to kind of start to use them just because of this bow alone. This is the only reason why I'm like picking it up and trying to actually get the hang of it. But no, I absolutely love this bow, and w this can roll with amazing perks. No distractions, rampage, archer's tempo, freaking rapid hit. I got a friend who got this bow. He got rapid hit and archer's tempo on the same bow. Like, it was insane. Like, the, I can't remember if it had draw time aspect, it might have, but, like, it was the literal, the literal Crucible of God row on the bow. I mean, uh, Rampage is fine, and uh, <clears throat> No Distractions is okay, I guess. It's neat. It's neat to have it, right? It's the only bow with No Distractions. It's all right. It, it, this is by no means a bad roll. I'm perfectly content with this. I think it's, I think this bow's great. But it's not the best roll, not the best roll by any means. Like I said, I got a friend who got like rapid hit and like archer's tempo, like god roll PvP. Freaking amazing, and he's much better with bows than I am. So he's probably gonna go into Crucible and just absolutely slay with it. But no, this bow's amazing. Absolutely love this bow. Um, it can roll with some really good perks. Um, like I said, if any guys got any, you know, any you bow extraordinaires got any good setups or anything that you recommend using with a bow. Please, I'd love to know. I'd love to hear about it. Um, I don't know. Let me guys know. Have you guys headed into the raid yet? Have you tried it out? Getting any of the new weapons? I will say that Bungie has knocked it out of the park. I'd say with the raid loot this time around, the the weapons just look amazing, and even like a lot of the armor sets, I think just look really cool. I love the raid, man. It's been a while since we had a Vex raid. If you don't include the uh, Eater of Worlds, last time we had a Vex raid might have been. Vault of Glass, if I'm remembering correctly, and that was my favorite raid of all time, so I love everything Vex related. So I just think it's so cool that we're finally getting a Vex raid back and all this Vex loot, and I think it's just so amazing. So there you guys have it. The raid bow, the Accured Redemption. I love this thing, man. I think it's really good. It feels amazing. The draw time is so nice on it, man. And it can roll some really nice perks. So if you're a bow guy, I would highly recommend <laughs> But it's all good. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. And remember to stay as positive as possible. And I will see you guys in the next video.